What's up guys and welcome back to another review. Now a little different scenery in the lightings, um, uh, not the best but we're going to work here, work through here. Uh, I have an, an Atlas product here and it is the Atlas HO Scale Gunderson Multimax Auto Rack. Um, I have mine in Kansas City Southern. So we're going to unbox this. Really easy, just pull it off. Now, you can see here is the warranty page, one full page, and then here is there's more warranty information there. And uh, there's also, I didn't see this, there's a second page in here. I was wondering if they had one of these in here, but they do. Um, you can see there's the explode parts diagram. So, um, yeah, some paperwork you can look at. We're going to finish taking this out of its box. Clear plastic, as you can see right there. We're just going to take it out like that. And let it fall like that. And there's the car. All right, so looking at the car closer in detail, you can see the brake wheel and such right here. It's really nice. You can see the TTX logo and uh, right there, the TTX logo. You have the panels here, which I'm looking at the side and I don't think they're see-through. So. Uh, for a hundred dollars on the car, I really don't think it's worth it. By the way, I forgot to mention it, but the MSRP is the MSRP on this car is a hundred dollars. I got mine for around sixty-five at Lombard Hobbies, so make sure make sure to go check them out. Link in the description for their website. I am not sponsored by them, but uh, we'll see if we can get something going. But I'm just doing a three sixty of the car, and you can see all the nice detail that this car has to offer. You can see the Kansas City Southern logo, which Kansas City Southern uh, lines there in Kansas City Southern to Mexico. TTGX and the car number. You have a uh, plate J, it says there, load, weight, and whatnot. There you have the, uh, the reflective striping on the sides, which is a little hard to tell. I'll zoom in on that. We'll see if we can get that zoomed in but you can see the, the reflective striping on the sides um, the wheels are actually very nice in the car and we're going to take a look at the underbody so you can see the wheels there which are really free rolling we'll test those out later you can see all the brake piping and plumbing here and the air reservoirs and whatnot there. You can see a lot of stuff going on right here and right here. Um, you can see actually they did a great job with the detailing with the air hose. And we'll actually zoom in to show you all this stuff in greater detail. You can see all this stuff I was talking about earlier, right there and right there. And they did a great job with the air with the air hose and train line brake hose plumbing, where you can see it actually goes from here and goes all the way around to here which they did a great job on that in my opinion you can see the KD cu couplers, I think these are 158's with a longer shank um, and you can see the coupler cut lever there you can see the door rods which are separately applied it looks like they could be molded in no they're, they look to be separately applied they do not open by the way you can see ladders and whatnot everywhere, but I mean the the whole thing is nice. You see, there's a ladder there, some more car information, black trucks, um, metal wheels, access height car, uh, TTGX, and the car number, some loading and unloading for information there, the reflective striping, but really nice car. 
Now, a little history on the Multimax, and uh, you can find this on the box as well, but um, zooming out a little bit so you can get a whole, whole look at the car. You can see there. But um, the little history of the car, you can see in 2013, the Gunderson Company introduced a new auto rack called the Multimax. Which are you looking at right now? Uh, this was a new innovative design, eliminated the which. Uh, well, this is a new design that eliminated the use um, or need to add or remove decks to make the car compatible for bi-level or tri-level service. Um, so, which means basically, this car can switch. You don't have to use two different types of cars. This car can switch between tri and bi-level, which I think it shows on the two. And that's it. It says bi. Oh, and I'll say this is buy, but um, on some cars you'll see try and buy, which would be what they're stationary at. I've seen hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these, dude. These things are very popular, and uh, I think you guys should get your hands on a few of these for. Uh, I got mine for sixty-five dollars, so you can buy three for the price of two or something like that. Um, it's really, really great pricing here. Um, so yeah, we're going to check coupler height real quick. So I'm going to come down here and check coupler height. Now I'm using a white background, but I still have the track here. So we can still check coupler height. You can see those free rolling metal wheels really do just want to take off of me. Sorry there's not going to be a run by at the end of the video. I'm not able to make that happen. But if you're looking down here at this, you can see it is dead on. And I can tell you I'm looking at it dead on. It's, it's perfect. Now we're looking at the other side. And uh, it is also dead on that side. So, really nice car from... Atlas. I plan on getting a few more of these in the future um, just because of how nice of a car it is. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Make sure to subscribe. Stay tuned for more reviews. We have a lot of reviews coming out. And um, yeah, peace.